Starting a business for me is like a trip to Ikea. I'm super excited about finding that perfect piece of furniture. Once I find it, the excitement begins to fade as the reality of how complicated it'll be to put together this complicated piece of furniture. As I plan to start a new business, my massage school, I want to take you on this journey with me where I share highs and lows and real-time lessons of entrepreneurship. I'd like to share some transparency into the challenges I face starting this business and share some insights on how my journey can help you along your way. The first lesson here is precision over pace. What I mean here is always choose to take the extra time to do things accurately the first time rather than allowing the excitement of the next inflection point to cause you to speed through items that would require more time and more of your attention. You have to be aware and manage this, whether it's your very first business or you're starting your 20th business. For me, for example, choosing the right location for my massage school was crucial, but my rush for speed led to a costly mistake. I prioritized zoning approvals over completing lease negotiations, which resulted in a bunch of setbacks and hefty expenses. The profound lesson learned here is precision over pace. What I should have done was prioritize precision by finalizing my lease negotiations first and then ensure I had contingencies for zoning and potential obstacles to ensure a smoother journey and avoid setbacks, even if it meant it would took me a longer time. I did not and the mistake was costly. So this is a reminder to make sure you're prioritizing accuracy over speed. Okay, lesson number two. Your team is a crucial component of your success. Building a successful team is an art that involves paying the market to learn, often through the challenges of making a bad hire. No matter how many books you read, the only way you get better is by actually hiring people. The initial phase for those unfamiliar with the hiring intricacies may result in hiring individuals who are not aligned with your vision. It's more than filling positions. It's about finding individuals who genuinely share in the vision you have and can complement it. Effectively, communicating during the hiring process is crucial to master, and flexibility is an essential in this process, especially when you're starting a new business. Having a team or an individual who can pivot with you becomes indispensable. Networking is also a game changer. Creating a list of valuable contacts and learning from others' experiences become a treasure trove of knowledge, guiding you through unforeseen challenges. My first two hires were my enrollment director and my course, and of course, my a seasoned instructor. The goal wasn't to find people with only technical experience in massage and body work. I wanted to build a team of visionaries who could be nimble and adjust as we look to build this school. My team have been instrumental in helping me to build this business and prepare me for launch. The overarching lesson here is clear. Building a successful team requires mastering effective communication, embracing flexibility, and leveraging the power of a well-established network. Lesson number three, strategically generate leads. In my opinion, this is by far the most important lesson of any business. In any business venture, strategic marketing is crucial for building awareness and capturing leads. Many startups overlook the need for a comprehensive plan to turn leads into customers. Like me, you know, if marketing isn't your forte, don't worry. You have options to hire a firm to do it for you. That can be costly. Learning to do it yourself or a combination of the both. For my massage school, I'm handling lead generations personally to control startup costs and strengthen my knowledge. I just finished reading Alex Harmozy's book, $100 Million Leads. Um, that has become the cornerstone of my plan. It offers valuable lessons in not only crafting an effective marketing strategy, but also understanding the fundamentals of generating leads. Regardless of the approach, having a solid plan to generate leads is paramount. Understand your target audience and keep them informed about your product or your services on various mediums consistently. Last but not least, lesson four, have resilience. Resilience is a key factor for me in overcoming setbacks and challenges. It enabled me to bounce back from difficult situations, learn from experiences, and continue pushing forward. Developing a resilient mindset involves cultivating perseverance, adaptability, and a positive outlook in the face of adversity that you will 
100% face. Remember that setbacks are a natural part of any journey and they provide valuable opportunities for growth and improvement. Embracing challenges with resilience can lead to personal and professional development, making you better equipped to handle future obstacles. My initial location falling through wasn't my only setback. I experienced regulatory delays, town delays, all pushing back my initial launch date. The journey of starting my massage school began in March of 2023. I was hoping to launch my school in September of 2023. That date got pushed back so many times and I foresee more roadblocks ahead. The key is to push through, expect challenges, navigate them and never lose sight of your vision. Resilience isn't just a quality, it's the lifeline of entrepreneurship, helping you weather the storms and emerge stronger on the other side. And that is all I have for you all today. Subscribe to my channel to receive notifications and stay in the loop as I share unfiltered stories and lessons of launching my newest business, my massage school, the Elite Touch Institute.